Hello, hello. Thank you for coming and checking out my channel. My name is Jennifer and this is Jen the Bookworm. And uh, if you are new to to my channel, um, I am doing a wrap up of March and I usually uh, entangle that with the TBR for the next month. But this time I'm just going to do a, a short quick one and I hope that you enjoy it. And if you've been here before, uh, I appreciate you for coming back and hope you continue to do so. So as I said, I'm doing a, a March wrap up. Should be a short video um, since I'm not adding it to my April TBR. I did a separate video for that. Please check it out on my channel if you are interested. Um, talking about the Keymark Discord readathon that's going on um, in the month of April and what I've chosen to read for that um, TBR Blitz readathon. But this video is about March. Looking back to see um, what I've read this month and actually I surprised myself and I've read eight books this month. Now this is the first month that I did not do a mid-month check-in or freak out and had I done one it would have been a freak out because it took me almost two weeks to read my the first book I read and then I read the other seven books in like a week and a half. So I mean I was freaking out a little bit that I wasn't going to get very much done in this month. But so the, what book did I take a big chunk of time to read? That would be uh, A Storm of Swords by George R. R. Martin. Not that it was a hard book to read. It really wasn't. It was just that I was physically reading for most of the time and it takes me longer to read when I'm physically reading. So I, I delved into that book, really enjoyed it. It did uh, diverge some from the uh, show at this point, so I really enjoyed that it did. Um, this is the third book in the series, and next month I will be continuing on with the uh, fourth book in the series of A Song of Ice and Fire. So I had a good time reading that, really enjoyed it. But what I spent the most of my month doing was the uh well they're called a couple different things it's called the casey duncan series or it's also called the rockton Nove uh, novels and that's by kelly armstrong i started out in on the 18th of the month uh, reading um city of the lost with my sister in a, a sister read-along challenge 12 24 hour challenge weekend that we did and it just became uh, very clear that um, she was not going to stop at two books and she was going to read all seven books in the series and be well well ahead of me and I know that I didn't have any time to dedicate towards um, towards this in April with the readathon and I didn't want to wait three months before I got around to reading a couple more books. So I pushed back some books that I had intended to read in March and I read all seven books in this series. So the books were uh, City of the Lost, A Darkness Absolute, This Fallen Play, pr words, This Fallen Prey, The Watcher in the Woods, Alone in the Wild, A Stranger in Town, and The Deepest of Secrets. I read all of these books. I started on the 18th and then I just kept going through them. Now as the books went on they got a little shorter so the last couple of books were only like 10 hours each um, so they they didn't take as much time to read as as like the first one but I really had a good time reading this series um, I'm thinking about doing like a series review on it I feel like um, I wouldn't really be able to do individual reviews on on these books um, but it's a mystery thriller genre if you're into that genre uh, and you want something that's going to be kind of light and quick and, and easy to read. I definitely recommend The Rockton Novels by Kelly Armstrong. That's what I read in, in March and uh, it is eight books but um, this is probably maybe the smallest wrap up I've ever done. Um, but if you are interested in, um, in what I'm going to be doing in April. There are other videos to go and look at and I hope that you uh, keep following me and, and uh, see what I'm up to. And if you haven't 
subscribed to me yet and, and you happen to have gotten to the end of this video, please give me a subscription. Give me a like uh, if you enjoyed what I did. It's free to do. It helps out my channel so much and I appreciate you very much and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.